In part one of the video, I showed you how to use the polarimeter to collect data and how to briefly analyze that data. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to do more accurate curve fitting of your curves using a Gaussian fit and a cosine squared fit. First, to do the Gaussian fit, we select a region of one of the curves that's Gaussian-like. Then, from the Analyze menu, we're going to select Curve Fit. Select the blank first, and now scroll down to the bottom of the list of equations and select the Gaussian equation. Then tap on Try Fit. Notice in the window here a black curve fitting line has shown up over your waveform. You want to make sure that that black curve matches your data. If it doesn't, restart the curve fit. Since it matches quite nicely in this instance, we're going to look at the coefficients. The coefficient of interest here is the B coefficient. This value gives us the angle at maximum illumination for the blank. I would now repeat this process for the sucrose sample and take the difference of the two B coefficients. And that will give me the optical rotation. So to do a cosine squared fit, simply select the cosine squared fit equation from the menu. Now make sure you deselect any region in the graph that's been selected because the cosine squared fit takes into account all the data you've collected. And that's why it's the most accurate interpretation of your data. Select Try Fit. You see the curve fitting black line lies perfectly on the graph screen. The coefficient that we care about with the cosine squared fit is the opposite sign of the C value. The C value here reads negative 145.3. Therefore, the angle at maximum illumination is positive 145.3. This is for the blank. I would now repeat this process for the sucrose sample, get my C value, the difference between the two C values is therefore the optical rotation of the sucrose sample. Now that you have the optical rotation value, you can determine the specific rotation for a sample or determine the concentration of a known sample using Biot's law. For more experiment ideas using the polarimeter, see our website for several free experiments or the Organic Chemistry with Vernier book has some great options as well.